Here in San Diego, thousands of students got to return to class this week for the first time in a year, but several districts have already been holding in person learning for months. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes a look, an in depth look at a couple of schools that have been open since September to show how they have successfully combined safety and education. Since September, nearly every student at St. Catherine Drexel Academy has been on campus. Principal Kelly Bondi says it took a major effort to make it happen. Every single classroom but one was moved across campus. We had to take out all of the furniture in the classrooms, replace it with different furniture to keep it every kid six feet apart. So it was quite challenging. Keeping the school open is just as challenging. Bondi says scheduling has been the most important part, making sure each grade stayed isolated. So when a positive case came up, only one grade would be affected. We designed a schedule that accounted for the space and timing so that all groups had separate play space sanitized eating space outside where we were able to not compromise their learning time. Meanwhile, getting families and teachers to buy into new rules for health and safety took constant, consistent communication. In pre-pandemic times, I would probably send a newsletter to families every two weeks. Once the pandemic hit, it was twice a week. Now it's once a week, but that communication is key. It paid off. Bondi says they've had zero cases of on-campus transmission. And after eight months, school is starting to feel normal again, even with the masks. Getting to see the kids still learning, still laughing, still playing, um, safe, healthy, and happy kids is to me the best measure of success. Morgan. You have the decor down? It's the same kind of success across town where Cajon Valley schools like Crest have been open in person all year as well. Being open is a challenge. It's a lot harder, I think, having kids in person. Assistant Superintendent Scott Buxbaum says his district got a good dry run over the summer using school sites as daycare for essential workers. When they transitioned to full-time school, the district didn't take no for an answer kind of pushing back against agencies to see, give our kids the opportunities of things that they shouldn't have to go sad on necessarily. Things like field trips. Crest School was the first in the state to take students to a state park after reopening. Now they do two off-campus trips each week. It's learning enrichment and also emotional relief. And it's been really, really awesome and it gives them something to look forward to um, and really helps them with their mental health since they've this since we've been closed down as a county on campus all the usual safety guidelines are in place hand washing masks distance kids even have separate entries based on grade level a year in crest has no cases of transmission and like at st catherine principal copeland says this new normal feels normal again as we get used to it and as we continue to do it it just it, it really feels like regular school around here at Crest. All the administrators I spoke with for this story told me one positive to come out of this pandemic is a renewed focus on putting kids first and also paying attention to their emotional needs as much as their educational ones. They hope all of that continues when the restrictions end. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Cajon Valley says other districts from across the county and state have toured their schools for advice on how to reopen.